So in this video, let's talk about the pH scale. I'm sure you've heard of this, at least in general terms. It's a scale that we use to measure how acidic or basic a substance is. Um, this is a scale that was come up with by a guy named Soren Sorensen. Okay. Um, basically, it just it's a scale. Um, you may have learned that it goes from 0 to 14. It actually goes lower than 14. Okay. I mean zero, and it actually goes higher than 14, and we'll, we'll sort of see cases where that's true. Things with very, very low pHs are things that are strong acids. Okay, and then here's just some examples, sort of some real-life things you might see. Things, water has a pH of 7. Okay, your blood is a little, little higher than that, right about there. In this area in here are where we have our weak acids. Okay. And here is where we have our weak bases, and down here is where we have our strong bases. Okay, so it's just a, a scale kind of from weak, uh, strongly acidic to weakly acidic to neutral to weakly basic to strongly basic. The way you calculate pH is it's negative the log of the hydronium ion concentration, or the hydrogen ion concentration. So you just hit on your calculator, negative log, and then kind of whatever. Okay, so pH depends on the amount of H3O, H3O plus in solution. So, for instance, what if I had a concentration of hydronium ion that was 1.00 times 10 to the minus 3 molar? If you plug into your calculator negative log 1 times 10 to the minus 3, you'll get a pH of 3.000. Okay? If it's 1 times 10 to the minus 4 molar, you'll get a pH of 4.000. If it's 1.0 times 10 to the minus 8 molar, you'll get 8.000, okay? And so forth and so on. Um, so you'll notice that when the concentration differs by a factor of 10, the pH differs by a factor of 1, okay? Here it increases or decreases by 10,000 or 4. Okay, there's also a little quirk that's going to drive you crazy. These numbers here have three sig figs. Okay, when you look at pH, the only numbers that are significant are the ones after the decimal. So these numbers also have three sig figs. Okay, so you have to kind of remember there's a different rule for significant figures for pH. We'll just practice that a bunch and it'll, it'll be fine. You'll get it. So when we talk about strong acids, let's figure out how to figure out the pH of strong acids. We're going to leave weak acids for an entirely separate video. Okay. So let's say for instance I have some HCl, which is a strong acid. I'm going to draw the hydrolysis reaction. So I'm going to react it with water. It's got a single arrow because it's strong. Okay, so remember it completely ionizes. I'm going to go 100% here, right? So if I start with 0.1 molar of this, right, it's going to all be gone, and I'm going to make 0.1 molar of this and 0.1 molar of this. Well, now I know the concentration of hydronium ion, so the pH is just negative the log of 0.1. Okay, and that should come out to be one point, what do I need, three sig figs? So one, two, three. Let's say, for instance, I had some nitric acid. Okay, I'm going to draw my, write my hydrolysis reaction. Okay. So I've got hydronium ion and nitrate. So let's say, for instance, I started with one point three times 10 to the minus 6 molar of this. All right? Oops, I drew the wrong arrow there. Hope you yelled at me. Okay, single arrow. It completely ionizes, so this is all gone. And I make 1.3 times 10 to the minus 6 molar of this. Okay? So the pH is just minus the log of 1.3 times 10 to the minus 6. Okay? So for that, you should get 5.1. Um, what do I need? Two sig figs, so five point, let's say eight nine. Okay, so that's how you find the pH of a strong acid. 
Now, what I want to do, let's talk about what happens to that. What if I give you the pH, okay, just to make sure you know how to do this on your calculator. So if the pH is 5.97, how do I go backwards and figure the H3O plus, okay? The way that works on your calculator is H3O plus is just 10 to the negative 5.97, okay? And don't leave it like that. That's silly. So take that in as an answer. Um, two sig figs, so it's going to be 1.1 times 10 to the minus 6. And why don't you make sure you can get that on your calculator because you'll need to go back and forth to do this. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to draw the equation for the hydrolysis of water. So I'm literally going to react water with water, okay? It makes hydronium ion and hydroxide. And because water is a very weak acid, and a weak base for that matter, I don't get very much of these. I get 1 times 10 to the minus 7 molar. Okay, and they're equal, of course, because of the stoichiometry. So not very much. Water does make ions, but not very much. So we can draw Kc for this, right? In this case, we call it Kw, the K for water. And it's a concentration of hydronium ion times a concentration of hydroxide ion. Okay, and you'll notice that if I plug in 1 times 10 to the minus 7 times 1 times 10 to the minus 7, Kw is a constant, and it is 1.00 times 10 to the minus 14th as long as you're at 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, this is a 14 here. All right, so this is kind of a handy equation that we're going to be able to use. All right, so let's see, like, how might, how might I put that to work for me? Okay, so let's say, for instance, I have an example where I have a hydronium ion concentration of 2.5 times 10 to the minus 2. Okay, first thing I want to do is I want to find the pH. Okay, so pH is just minus the log of the hydronium ion concentration. <clears throat> okay, so you should get a pH of 1.2 sig figs, 1.60. <clears throat> okay, but all aqueous solutions have hydronium ion and hydroxide. In water, the amounts are equal. In acidic solutions, you have more hydronium than hydroxide. And in basic solutions, you have more hydroxide than hydronium. But they're always present. So I can use the amount of hydronium ion to find hydroxide. Okay? From the expression we just learned, the hydroxide ion is Kw divided by the hydronium ion. Okay? And Kw is a constant, so we know it. It's 1.00 times 10 to the minus 14. So we'll divide that by the hydronium ion concentration, times 10 to the minus 2, and we'll get um, 4.0 times 10 to the minus 13 molar OH minus. So anytime you know H plus or hydronium ion, you can find OH minus and, and, and vice versa. So you notice that the H plus concentration, the hydronium ion concentration, is bigger than the hydroxide ion concentration, and that tells us our solution is acidic. Okay, we already knew that because the pH was so low. That tells us that it's acidic. Okay, um, and we can also find something else. We're going to find something called the pOH. Okay, if pH is minus the log of the concentration of H. POH is minus the log of the concentration of OH minus. So minus the log of that number we just found, 4 times 10 to the minus 13, and your pH is 12.40. Now, you may notice, probably not right away, but anytime you take the pH and add it to the POH, it always equals 14. So pH plus pOH always equals 14. Okay, so we'll practice this in class and go from there.